These are pretty dull. And being D2 steel, I don't know how you sharpen yours, but to get a really good edge, I'm actually reprofiling these. I'm, I'm reprofiling them. I really don't know what the angle is on these when they come from the factory, but I'm doing it 20 degrees just because that's a nice happy medium for a lot of EDC knives. I'm not taking it down to something because I don't want to be rolling it at no 15 degrees or anything like that. I still want these to be a good working EDC knife. So here is the new one. I got two. Like I said, here's the sharpened one with the tape on it. All right, well, you really got to get her going. The new Boker Strike Mini. And I'm going to do my official test, sharpness test. Here's two hairs in a hemostat. Right out of my chin. This is always my test. Oh, well, yeah. That just whittled those hairs, no problem. Making little swirl cuts. That's a good test, because you turn the knife. Now, granted, I put a mirror finish on this one. I took it down to at least uh, one micron, just to get the scratch marks. But when you're reprofiling, I mean, I got it. I don't feel like wanting to sit there all day. So I go down to these really abusive 50 and 80 grit diamonds. If you can see, that is pretty aggressive. Because I don't want to sit here all day long. Because guess what? I still got another one to do. So I... You know, I don't let knives sit around. I mean, I can do this on my finger. I'm not going to dare do that on this one. So that's just a word of warning for you that these don't come radically sharp. Okay, they're good enough for, you know, dinking around. But if you're looking for a screamer, you're either going to have to give it to somebody to sharpen, like myself, like a knife sharpening dude or you're gonna have to really work on it because you're gonna have to get that edge a little more like this instead of like this and that's getting it at a you know uh, less of an angle on this stubby strike I got a mirror polished edge on this one too this is d2 and i mean really that's truly just a box cutter letter opener i mean actually i use it in the kitchen all the time because i got it in my plier pocket and i flip it out snap and i'm cutting open you know food bags and things like that so that's it just a little word of warning when you when you're picking up these bokers they're, they're a budget knife, but they're a quality budget knife. But they, as manufacturers, can't sit there and put on a good screaming edge for you at that price point, at, you know, 35 to $42, let's say. Same thing, 35 to $42, something like that. All right, so thanks for watching. Got a lot more content coming out about small EDC knives. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you back in the Wolf Den.